Okay, did run a quick test. Uh, the air conditioner kicking on hasn't completely drowned me out, so we're gonna just roll with this. Um, so hi and welcome. This is uh, not gonna be completely a fitness thing, but it's gonna focus mainly on that and a little bit more on kind of over education or utilizing education poorly, I guess. Um, we're very lucky, I think. We have incredible access to everything um, all the time. You can find lots of good info, lots of bad info, um, but that's always been the case. Is You know, you go back 2,000 years, there still were people that wrote shitty books. Um, so, you know, people have their own opinions and there's other things and sometimes you read something that's irrelevant that may sway your, your behavior. Um, with fitness, a friend of mine just started getting into exercise and everything like that, and for me, been doing it for a long time and it's the summer so I want to go outside play rugby with my friends run shoot some hoops stuff like that so I lose a little bit of physical strength and some size because I'm always zipping around doing this that the other and focusing on skill sets more than uh, physical mass or anything but you know you change your plans so my friend that was getting into this is uh, completely we'll, we'll say ground zero um, he's got a couple pounds on him no muscle at all and he doesn't want to play basketball with me because he doesn't want to lose muscle. Um, now, he's absolutely correct. You can lose muscle uh, by doing a large amount of cardio, long-term, uh, things like that. As you can tell, you see a marathon runner. He doesn't look like a professional, like Hulk Hogan or The Rock or someone like that, or, you know, a, a lifter. I just picked uh, guys who are physically huge, you know, like Arnold. Um, so, he's technically right but there's nothing for him to lose and it, it's hard to get him to grab that because he's like well I still have arms and I can pick things up so I'm s strong um, he's wrong but he's also correct and I think for a lot of things you know uh, having so much information you're smart to read about things and learn and do that but sometimes it comes back to bite you like it's not going to kill you you're not going to lose your one day of gains from uh, you know touching a treadmill or something like that and uh, it trying to relay that sometimes because they're not somebody hasn't taken that step yet to understand how these things work all the way they'll they'll get an unfair bias against something um as you can tell i'm outside i'm covered in sweat because i was out shooting some hoops because it's a nice day um i played basketball in high school actually for the manlet that i am um but yeah i just kind of wanted to do something a little bit about how if you're not really educated on a subject, sometimes you can learn more than you should, and I, I find it strange that you can uh, over-educate yourself, and you can be correct, but you won't have enough of a, a standing to know why you're wrong for your particular stance or your goals and dreams. It stands for everything. Um, I, I say it a lot in investing. I, I see people that are right about th something, um, but they tend to blow a lot of money or lose a lot of money. And they're right, so it's very hard to disagree with them on their, their pro premise or process. But uh, they're applying a situation that fits to somebody else, uh, to themselves. And it's hard because you have to educate somebody on different fields of view or different goals and different plans before they grasp. While they're right, this application of something doesn't work for them. Um, I guess sort of going like back to fitness, you could say it's like, you know, if you want to, uh, you want to eat something really healthy for you, you should have a lot of yogurt. That that's great. Yeah, yogurt's really good for you. I eat like probably four pounds a day, uh, not a day, a week. Uh, you know, two of those tins a week. Yeah, that sounds about right. But uh, that's true, and nobody can debate this. Uh, that it's really good for you. It's clean proteins um, and fat if you need it, or fat if you don't. They offer no fat or low fat even, so you, you can tailor your macros. And this is a, you can't debate it, but if you're lactose intolerant, um, saying eat yogurt's a pretty terrible recommendation. So I guess that's kind of like what I'm trying to say for a lot of people is you got to step back and uh, learn a lot more before you think you know anything, which I think is, it's a universal thing. You don't know anything until you know you know nothing. Um, with wisdom, the age grows experience, and the more you learn, the less you know, is kind of the saying. So... But it's just kind of interesting to me. I, I wonder how many people have had these negative effects throughout their lives. Um, obviously, you go back a thousand years, very few people could read um, overall. Uh, so you figure the people that would learn this stuff, and not just education it through books, but through anything, you know. Now the fact that everybody has a smartphone in the Western world and access to the internet overall 
not physically everybody, but a, a vast majority. I wonder how many more people are being affected. Granted, you think go back to like folklore and things. How many people heard from their neighbor? You know, if you plant the tree, you're going to lose half your farm. And so they don't plant a tree. And so, you know, I guess it's always been a thing that people just. Uh, it's hard to argue with someone who also doesn't want to learn, or they're they're very set with that and their influences. Um, so. My gym buddy, trainee, apprentice, I like apprentice, um, is uh, going to struggle with his uh, his goals because he's pretty much set that you pick up a weight five times to grow, and that's all you do. Um, and he's right that if you're going for max growth, but he's not, he's looking to get a baseline and start going, so you kind of want to, my theory is jack of all trades, and happiness is a big thing in habit building. Um, it's really easy go play ball with your friends or to you know hit the gym with a buddy but if you lose that early on so I I I think there's a big motivation in doing well and gaining and lifting the right way to hit your goals Um, it is with anything but the habitual is a big thing I think I've noticed that with the people I've interacted with and gymmed with and stuff uh, the habitual becomes such a thing so what you want to do is you want to get that in and I think hammer that in is I rather slow you down for the first week and a half two weeks um shooting hoops after we hit it uh something like that then um then have you max your gains and then like if i'm out for a day or i can't make the gym and then you're like well i have nobody to lift or spot or then you blow it off and then it's easier to blow off when you're feeling a little down and um but when you start really pushing yourself and you you feel it like the next day and you're good I, i think building that habit tends to be more important than maximizing gains. I'd rather work at 80%, 100% of the time, than 100% of the time, 60% of the time, you know? Uh, but yeah, no, it was pretty sweet. Uh, I had a half day, so I went and shot some hoops, covered in sweat. I need a haircut. My hair is exploding. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically been my day so far. Um, I don't know, I'm not going to do like a ton of things, this is obviously not a fitness channel, granted it's supposed to be an economics channel, and I think I've talked about economics like three times, <laughs> so whatever, I do what I want, it's my hot body, um, and yeah, my traps are uh, shrinking, and that's really embarrassing, gotta get, gotta um, convince my doctor to give me some uh, androgel, which I'm going to plan on eating, and just rub that on a steak, I'm sure that doesn't have any side effects. So that's my video, like it or not, bye.